Think airplane seating couldn't get worse? Well, then you've underestimated the human imagination. Ah, uh, human flight. To think every day eight million people are lifted aloft by iron arms and ferried to far-flung locales to meet their destinies. It's an amazing engineering feat, and we should celebrate this ingenuity of the human spirit. Except for one thing. Once you step inside the modern marvel that is the airplane, awe and wonder give way to disappointing cramped quarters and a number of unpleasant variables like delays, droolers, oversharers, and seat-kicking toddlers. Now, imagine a future where this happens vertically with kicking toddlers suspended above you because Airbus recently filed a patent to do just this. But before we entertain that scenario, let's look at the present. 16.5 inches, that's all the room your butt gets these days, which is a 2.5 inch decrease from years past, all in an effort to cram more seats in. In fact, the International Air Transport Association is expecting a 29.3 million net profit up from 16.4 billion in 2014. This is due in part to increased air travel demand, but also record load factors, AKA stuffing in as much human livestock as possible. But we're mostly okay with this, right? We've reached a point of acceptance and we've leveled out our expectations. We get it. Airplane travel for the masses is uncomfortable and surely it couldn't get worse. Oh yes, it can. And don't call me Shirley. Behold, the economy class cabin hexagon, a patent filed by Zodiac Seat France on June 11, 2015. It features a three seat configuration with two seats facing the back of the cabin and the middle seat facing the front. Sure, you gain some shoulder room, but in exchange, all three of you get to stare at one another for the duration of the flight. Not awkward at all, but at least no one's sitting above your head. But wait, they could be because on September 30th, 2015, Airbus filed a patent for stacking passengers or in their much more elegant parlance, an elevated deck structure providing a mezzanine seating area in a substantially unused upper lobe of the aircraft fuselage. The patent allows for more than one seat to be suspended above you, so that spacious looking cabin could be chock-a-block with humans. Also, how would you feel about being downwind from the seat above you? Sure, charcoal filters and seat cushions absorb some of the flow of human flatulence, but not all of it. But take comfort, these diabolical configurations may never come to pass. Nor are you sitting in the Ypsilanti wicker. Yeah, that's just some porch furniture that Pan Am threw on its flights during the 20s and 30s in case anyone needed a lift with the mail carrier. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We're flying out an altitude of 20,000 feet. Right about now is the time for me to remind you to check back daily at now.howstuffworks.com and subscribe for more high-flying times.